Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I got a new mug today. A Ray Dunn, it says aunt on it, or aunt, depending where you live. Mm. With some Dunkin' Donuts hazelnut I brewed. Delish. Mm. Excuse me, sir. And I have some kitties that said hi. That would be Wellington. All right, so I have a Dollar Tree haul, and a lot of this is craft items for an upcoming DIY. But I want to show you everything I got. So I got some of these Heidi Swap cards. These are um, for like journaling. I think you stick your instant pictures to this, but you can do anything with them that you want. And this is 12 dividers. So I grabbed those. They had a lot of Heidi Swap stuff at a couple of the stores I went to. This is a Project Life kit. It comes with all of these, and it's for scrapbooking. They're like journaling cards, and it looks like some tapes and stickers. And this is also Project Life for journaling or scrapbooking. Um, they had two different ones, but I like that the best. This stuff is not a dollar at the craft store, I can tell you that. And then they have this one, which is Best Trip Ever. And it also is like journaling cards and things for scrapbooking. And I may pass this off to Sarah, but we'll see. Because she does a lot of scrapbooking and I do not. So she should get those, right? That's what I thought too. All right, I found... And I feel like this wasn't in my store last year, but it's Haunted, Spooky, and Beware, the metal things for Halloween. These were hanging with my school supplies. So I don't know. Clearly somebody put them in the wrong spot, but I just grabbed one. I thought they would be fun. I love these metal words a lot. And like I said, it says Haunted, Spooky, and Beware. How fun are those to do something with this Halloween? And they're the metal. So I grabbed those. Ugh, allergies still. Um, for my upcoming craft, I needed some of these clear cups. So I grabbed those. And you get 28 in here. I'm not normally a proponent of disposable stuff, but I need it for this project. So we will do it. But I will wash them out and reuse them. I did grab one more rubber ball in case they are ugh, good quality. I got to do that um, test with my cousin. Maybe I'll go over there this week and throw these for her dogs the super chewing German Shepherds. But this is just a rubber. It's pretty sturdy as far as I know, but I'm not a chewer. Um, I grabbed this cooling rack, which if you have never bought these, these are great for like cookie cooling. Let me kind of bring it out of the oven or you can even put them in your baking sheets and to raise things up if you wanted to cook like bacon or whatever, but I'm gonna use it for crafting. So I grabbed one of those. I picked up, oh, in the school section. These are the best erasers ever. Okay, I'm not a draw, uh, like an artist, but I can tell you for what I do, which is like bullet journaling and stuff, these white ones are fabulous. So I grabbed an extra just to have. I have one more pack of those, but when I'm doing like my bullet journaling or trying to draw things, I use a lot of it. So there's that. Oh, in the craft session, let's open this up. I found some fabric. A lot of it's like for young kids, but this is for me. And you'll know why in a second. I'm just, oh, it's stuck to my fingers. There we go. It's uh, fabric, and I think these are fat quarters is what they're called. So a dollar is really not a bad deal for a fat quarter at all. I mean, that's pretty much what you can get them for at like Joanne and stuff too. But look at this, the cats, please guys. <gasps> look at the black and white kitties. Oh, isn't that awesome fabric? I love it. And I will do something with this. I don't know what, but something will happen with this fabric. So I just grabbed one. I can get, um, use it and then do like contrasting color probably pick up like a black or a red maybe and do the bottom if I want to make a bag but a fat quarter for a dollar is not a bad deal at all I picked oh more Heidi Swap stuff this is tape let me open them I got two 
the polka dots, they had different colors, but it's, I don't know if it's washi tape or packing tape. It just says tape. We should figure this out, shouldn't we? And they had different sizes of it. And I thought this would be super fun around the holidays. Um, the gold uh, feels like a washi. If I had to venture, I guess. Um, but it's pretty wide, obviously. And then they had some thinner ones, too. Um, yeah, this is like a washi. It's a nice washi, but a washi nonetheless. Oh, that's nice. Very sticky. So I have, and they came in two rolls. So I have two of the gold and white striped, and then I have two of gold and white polka dots. And I thought this would be really fun. Especially like wrapping presents with just that brown craft paper and using this to decorate or to seal it would be fun for some presents or whatever. I'll just put it in with my washi tape collection. Um, and like I said, I don't know if you get a good look at that. It's gold. It's white with gold polka dots. So we grabbed that. Four rolls. Um, I got some wooden pieces to do some things with that I think will be fun. This is for our project and I'm getting ready to video here tonight. So far for this video, we have some wooden pieces, plastic cups. I grabbed one of these, just plain wooden boxes to do something with um, because I liked the shape. It's very clean lines and we can do something fun with that. Um, Oh, I did pick up one of these in case I needed it to decorate with. I don't know that I will, but it's from my project. Um, yeah, they're okay. I mean, I'm probably, I'm going to avoid Dollar Tree greenery this year and kind of up my game. And just, if you catch it on sale at Joanne and Hobby Lobby, it's really not that much more. And it's way better quality. So just throwing that out there. I found these little wooden planks. We're going to open this up and see what this is all about potentially. And what I liked right out of the big gate is that it's a resealable bag. So you can take out a piece and then seal your bag back up. Because I'm not going to use how many wooden planks are in here. These are four and a half inch squares and there's six of them. These would make great coasters by the way. Ooh. That's a decent piece of wood. It is wood. It's probably pressed wood if I'd have to guess. But yeah, and it's very square, which I like because sometimes the wood there is not. That is nifty. And you get six of these in here and they're all very much the same shape, which is good because you know, they're not on. And I think I've seen other people hauling these. So I wouldn't say these are 100% new. And then these are six of this shape. And it is seven by two and an eight. Oh, you can glue these together to make a sign. I'm going to save these for fall and do a fall sign. For sure. Because I can glue them together with the wood glue. Use popsicle sticks on the back and get a big plank sign with these. Two separate signs. <laughs> I don't think I would mix these two together, but maybe. What the heck do I know? What I'm going to feel like come fall. So I grabbed those when I saw them, and I just grabbed one of each. And then, I don't, it's a, not a very big haul today, but it's a haul nonetheless. I went a little ham with acrylic paints. So I have these. These are Rich Art Premium Acrylic Paint. This is red, oh, it's not gonna focus, red oxide. This is a big bottle of acrylic paint for a dollar too. It's four fluid ounces. I feel like, and I'll look when I get upstairs, but the ones I buy at like um, Joanne or whatnot are two ounces or maybe three ounce bottles, we'll see. But anyway, it's like a burnt orange. I got a deep blue, same brand, deep blue. A cobalt blue. Isn't that pretty? 
a deep green, a deep yellow, which I think mixed with that could make a really pretty orange. Uh, yellow, yellow, like mustard, yellow, and a white. Just plain old white. And then the last thing I picked up is a pan for the craft. So I'm hoping that will sit right on top, which is what I wanted. Perfect. So that is everything I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I'm excited for the DIY that I'm gonna have coming out tomorrow. I'm working on it tonight. This is gonna take a little while to dry, but I'm, it's gonna involve all the stuff that I bought, the painting stuff that I purchased. And I hope you enjoyed my little but mighty haul at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm kind of excited to see some fall and Halloween stuff, although I'm not quite ready to give up summer yet kind of nice to see you know some getting some fall stuff in maybe makes me feel a little more motivated or inspired um but this i have seen this project i'm doing tomorrow i've seen on youtube done all different ways and i wanted to do my take on it so let's get started on that oh there's dub hi baby and alex you can't see him but he's laying in his little tree cat tree that is. All right, guys, I will talk with you later.